seeking. Help us your name to sing. Help us to praise. Father of glorious, holy, victorious, come and rule over us, ancients of days. Come thou incarnate word, and make your message heard, our prayer tell. Come on, your people bless, and give your word success, and let your holiness to us descend. Come now, we comfort her, your sacred witness bear in this glad hour. You, Almighty God, enlighten every heart from us. Do not depart, Spirit of God. To your great one in three, eternal praises be, hence evermore. Your sovereign majesty, may we in glory see unto eternity, love and adore. Come, thou almighty King, help us your name to sing, help us to pray. Father of glorious, holy, victorious, come and rule over us, ancients of days. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with serving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Good morning, Father. Today is Tuesday, the seventh day in the month of July, 2020. And Tuesday in the 14th week in the ordinary time of the church. Today, in a very special way, Jesus Christ continues to manifest his power of healing both souls and the body. We pray in this mass that we may encounter him in a very unique way. Encounter him in such a way that our encounter with him will provoke the mercy, love, and pity of God upon us and upon our lives, so that he will stretch out his hand of mercy and pity and grant us whatever we are asking him in this mass. Children of God, I want to wish you a very powerful day. This Tuesday will be one of the best Tuesday you have spent in your life. I am praying that the grace of God will embarrass you in whatever you do today. Wherever you go today, you will encounter the power of God's presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Tuesday is the second day in the week. And it is also a day we celebrate in a very special way. That the week has commenced in essence. I pray that God, who has brought us into this week, will continue to shower his blessings upon us, even on this second day of the week, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to prepare ourselves worthily for this holy celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy.
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In this Mass, the following have requested that we pray for them, especially in this Midnight Mass today. On the 7th of July 2020, the following booked Mass. Prince Okewo and Lydia Agada praying for the success of their upcoming events, journey mercies, and God's divine protection and blessings. Victoria Alui is praying for total divine healing over her life. No, sir. Omorege Miss is praying in thanksgiving to God for the success of Jerome Omorege and praying for more of God's blessings throughout blessings, breakthrough, and divine protection upon him. No, sir, Omorege still is praying for God to direct Miss Nosa Mabel Omorege and Miss Elizabeth Mary Omorege to direct their husbands to come from wherever they are to their family and marry them and for protection and God's guidance upon the entire family. Mrs. Chinelo Chinedu Maurice is thanking God for his love and mercy and praying for the success of Mr. Maurice Lewis Chukwemeka's business. Mr. and Mrs. Festus Onyereka and family praying in thanksgiving to God as they mark their wedding anniversary today, the 7th of July, 2020. We wish them more success, fruitful union in the future through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Chinwe Luisa Kenechuku is praying for ISO. 17025 2017 pre assessment audit for her laboratory. Emanche Chemicals and Laboratory Services. Coming on coming up on 16th July 2020, next week Thursday. For God Almighty to take control of all that happened that day and make the assessment a very successful one. We continue to pray for the intentions of the following. Priscilla Matteo Roseanne Eloho Edada Wilfred Asemota and family Augustina Nweke Okolienta Chizoba Mr. and Mrs. Raphael, Francis, Matthew, Amande, and Ibogo, and family. Mr. Paul, Ele Libo, Mr. Ignatius Otepa, Ike Chuku Okorie, Mr. J. Chijoke, and Jennifer Nwilo, Beatrice Itoha, Emoisi, Mrs. Ifama Wafo, Ifama Onyenso, Mrs. Maria Okwara, Mrs. Chiamaka Okafo. We continue to pray for the intentions of Ogechuku Emmanuel Mbamalo's intention for safe delivery of Chinelo, his sister. We pray for the intentions of Ustadema Owam, Daniel Idoko Ujun Mado. We pray for safe delivery of Chedema Linda Mwa Mukurie. For the intentions of Emmanuel Mbogo, 
for the intention of Reverend Sister Justina Iku Nemelo and the family, for the intentions of Mr. and Mrs. Victor Ezike, Mrs. Francisca Ijoma Salau, for the intentions of Chema Kinsley Okuchuku Sa Emeka Ngodo, Mrs. Patricia Okongo, and Mr. Jude Okongo, for the intention of Mr. Ifani, and for God's blessings upon Mrs. Catherine Wakego, a Chozo, as requested by the Director of the Vincentia Retreat Center. We pray for Henry and the Ifama Umaha. We pray for Mrs. Chinere Ibano, for Obano Nkiru, and for the intentions of Mrs. Emanuela Adobe Chede, for the intention of Tobechuku Orakwe Christian. We pray for the intentions of Maria Dean AGK Me, DK Teresa Nkechi. We pray for the intentions of one for Adobe Mary Rose. We pray for the intention of Chisum Arebogo, Mrs. Ife Iwa Okongu, Mrs. Uchechi, Reverend Sister Emanuela and the family. We pray for Amota Lizzie and the family. We pray for Igwe Felicia, Fidelia Ngozeka, for Chin Oyelum Odionye. We pray for the intentions of the family of Adolphus and Caroline Ozude, for the intentions of Mike Ifanye Brown. We remember Leka Ike in this mass. We pray in this mass for the intention of Miss Sita and Mrs. Kalistus Eke Anyangu, for the intentions of Stanley Chigozie. We pray for Veronica Bren. We pray for Mr. and Mrs. Kirian Egbosuoba, for the repose of the soul of Ezina Anthony Nwachuku, as requested by Angela Ngozeka Ndwago. We pray for the intention of Celestina in this mass. We continue to pray for Mrs. Regina, Regina Ayamu's intention. We continue in this mass to ask God to grant the hard desires of Lillian Chizoba Opala. We pray for the intentions of Victoria Eze Uku, Mrs. Maureen Ani, Mrs. Ogotuku Dweze, for God's total healing upon Margaret Obikelo. We pray for Joy Okechuku's intention. We pray for Mrs. Onye Mwachuku. We pray for the intentions of Francisca Aderemi and for the intention of Samuel Monday Ewo Osudebe Samuel. Mr. and Mrs. Obi Aramba, Mrs. Chedema Okembechi, for the intention of Chiwe Ezeji, Nkem Olivia Ugwebunam. Ugwebunam, for the intention of Maureen Dike, for Mrs. Augustina, and for the intention of Felicia Abe Onyemem, and for the intention of Mrs. Ndazeka Rosalind Arukwe. We continue to pray also for God's healing upon blessing a whole dark way. Ahine, asking God Almighty to grant these our brothers and sisters their hard desires, which they have presented in a very special way in this month of July before the altar of Midnight Mass. We pray that Midnight Mass will settle the matter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The midnight mass will settle the matter in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Their friends who are online, type in your own intention in the comment box. Or you can simply write, Lord, my intentions are in this mass. Or the intentions of my family are in this mass. Or the intentions of my company are in this mass. Especially if your intention is such intention that you wouldn't want to pronounce publicly. Child of God, summarize it by simply saying, Oh Lord, my intentions are in this mass. God knows your heart desire. He sees the heart. He knows what troubles us and what is lying very deep in our hearts, but gives us un uncommon worry. He will grant you that your heart desire today. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that by the power of the altar, by the power of midnight altar, by the power of Eucharistic altar, by the power of the sacrifice offered on the altar, every other altar working against your children, every other altar where your children have been petitioned, every other altar where the devil has submitted the intention, where the enemy has submitted their, their intentions against you, who is under the sound of my voice, the altar of this Eucharistic celebration will shatter those altars and render them powerless in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am raising a new altar upon you and upon your family. This altar of Eucharist, altar of Minai Mass, will fight for you. Amen. Altar of Jesus will fight for you. Amen. I guess every naughty daughter's altar, every occultic altar, every marine altar, every marine altar that is raised anywhere against you and your family, I am raising altar against them tonight. Because you are killing to this mass, I pull you and your family, your generation to this altar. Let this altar shield you. Let this altar save you. Let this altar stand as a mighty rock upon which you shall remain secure. And I pray that the blessings of the altar of Calvary, when blood and water flowed for the salvation of the world, that that blessing will again be released upon you as you are put to the altar. Let the blessings of God locate you. Let the pity of God locate Locate you. Let the mercy of God locate you. Let the favor of God locate you. May they begin to manifest in your life divine transformation on account of this mass you have joined today. Child of God, your data will not be in vain. Amen. Your being awake will not be in vain. Amen. Even your participation will not be in vain. Amen. As you are typing, you are typing, you are writing your testimony. As you are typing your, 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 your intentions, I say you are writing your testimony because God will talk what you have written down, what you have typed into the common bonds, into a testimony, Amen. into a miracle, Amen. into a miracle Amen. for you and for your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, there is nothing impossible for you. I trust so much in what you can do. Today, you went about doing good. You healed, healed the sick, made a man with deaf and dumb to speak. Anyone here that the problem of the family has rendered everybody dumb in the family, such that a woman also no could raise no no, a woman also no could give because of your problem. Your brother, or your sister, or your husband is in the prison. No one to go and bail them. No one to speak for them. Even where they are taking your property by force, taking your land by force, no one to speak for you. I raise an altar. I raise an altar. I raise this altar. Let this altar of midnight mass begin to speak with for you. Let the blood shed on the altar begin to speak for you. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, upon Jesus. you, upon your family, upon your situation, let the blood speak for you Amen. again today and the always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Nigeme ya kobi di mumma o Amara nigeme nigeme ya kobi di mumma o Amara nigaza igaza mo kobi di mumma o Amara nigaza mekbere igaza mo kobi di mumma jizo Amara nigeme nigeme ya kobi di mumma o Amara nigaza igaza mo kobi di mumma o Amara nigaza mekbere igaza mo kobi di mumma o Amara your faith, your faith is necessary. Your faith, what you are doing is necessary. I know your way, do your way, do it again and again, Jesus. You will do it again and again. I know you will do you will do it again and again. You will do it again and again. You will do it again and again, Jesus. I know you will do. You will do it again and again. I know you will do. 
You will do it again and again. Child of God, in every situation you are weeping, I pray for you this morning. Let the pity, let the mercy, let the compassion of God locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Prophet Hosea. Thou says the Lord, Israel made kings, but not through me. They set up princes, but without my knowledge. With their silver and gold, they made idols for their own destruction. I have spawned your calf, O Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will it be? till they are pure in Israel. A workman make it, it is not God. The calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces, for they sow the wind, and they shall reap the wild wind. The standing grain has no heads, it shall yield no meal. If it were to yield, aliens would devour it. Because Ephraim has multiplied altars for sinning, they have become to him altars for sinning. Be I to write for him my laws by ten thousands, they would be regarded as a strange thing. They love sacrifice, they sacrifice flesh and eat it, but the Lord has no delight in them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Lord be to God. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. House, House of, of Israel, Israel, trust, trust in, in the Lord. Lord. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever He wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have no shoes, but they cannot smell. House, House of Israel, Israel, trust in the Lord. They have hands, but they cannot feel. They have feet, but they cannot walk. Their makers will come to be like them, as we all who trust in them. House, House of Israel, Israel, trust in the Lord. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own, and my own know me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, from verse 32 to 38. At that time, behold, a mute demoniac was brought to Jesus. And when the, when the demon had been cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees say, said, he casts out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. You were get your code that you never know. I'm a right You were get your Da John never know. I'm a raggy, but a Jesus. He will get your good. I John never know. I'm a raggy, but oh, he will get your good. I John never know. I'm a raggy, but oh, he will chuck good your good. I John never know. Amara give at all. He will give your good, I join by no. Amara give at all. He will give your good, I join by no. Amara give it is important that we pray today that the pity and compassion of God may locate us. In fact, our major prayer today is that the pity, the mercy, compassion, the love of God should locate us. Because if the Lord should mark our iniquities, no one will survive. Today, the first reading we heard today from the prophet Hosea, chapter 8, verse 
4 to 7 and the 11 to 13 presents to us the summary of the whole evil of sin, what stands as the sin of the children of Israel or the crime of the children of Israel for which God has chosen to destroy them, for which they are to be punished, for which they are to suffer. Amen and amen. amen. In fact, the word of God says that the anger of God was against them. The anger of God. He said, my anger is against them. My anger burns against them. What is this thing that the children of Israel did that made God's anger to burn against them? Which if they did not ask God for his anger that is hot upon them to come down, it would be a total disaster. We can categorize it from the reading. We have two. But if you read just after the reading of today, going down a little, you will get the third one. Amen and amen. Amen. If you read Hosea chapter 8 from verse 4 to 7, you will see the fact that the children of Israel erected kings and the leaders without making recourse to God. The reading simply says, Israel made kings, but not through me, did not seek the blessing of God. And it says again, they set up princes and without my knowledge. They set up princes and without my knowledge. They erected kings. They made kings without any recourse to God. And God said, for this, I am angry with them. What does that mean? If you read the history of the children of Israel, after the leadership of the king of Israel called Jeroboam, there was a lot, a lot, that is, uncountable number of royal assassinations whereby anybody enter the, 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 the throne of the king before you know it they will kill that one another person take over and so on and so forth so after he he, he, he died his son uh, uh, Zachariah took over from him and Zachariah was on that seat only this thing is happening around the, uh, the, 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 the period the year 740 43 BC, after the death of Jeroboam II. So the son, Zachariah was the first person that took over from him, and Zachariah only remained on the seat for two years and was assassinated. When he was killed, Shalom, Shalom took over, and Shalom existed on that seat only one month. And after that, another king will come and there, that's how there was series of royal murder and the assassination and it will defeat or to this background God was not happy with the children of Israel and what led to such thing is that they raised those kings out of their own ambition without consulting God and when anyone enters before you know it, they will discover that one is not fit and there is another political clamor for the person to come down. And if the person refuses to come down, they will do what? They will impeach. And if impeachment is not uh, possible, they will do what? They will uh, 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 use Q and, they, and, they, and kill the man. So these things, we are at the bedrock or the foundation of what made the anger of God rouse or increase upon the children of Israel. The second reason why God chose to punish Israel or why his anger got heated up against the children of Israel is that in Samaria there was what is called a court of the calf. That's why he spoke about, he said, he said, with their silver and gold, they made idols for their own destruction. I have spawned your calf, O Samaria. My anger burns against them. Amen and amen. amen. My anger burns against them. How long will Israel remain in this filthy situation? How long? That statement, how long, tells you that there is a reference to what happened so long ago that the children of Israel 
a particular group of them are still attracted to, are still fall back to from time to time. And that is what? The worship of the calf they made at Bethel in the desert. When Moses left the children of Israel and they had to use their silver and golden necklaces, melt it and then use it to form a, a, moldy, a, a golden calf, a bull, which represented Baal in their midst. And they worshipped him. God was angry. For that, God uh, uh, cautioned them. Moses intervened. The mercy of God was, 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 was pleaded upon. But after so many years, children of Israel still get attracted to worshipping gods that are made of silver and gold. Things that are molded and so on and so forth. Idol, idol worship. They couldn't live worshipping Baal. Apart from the fact that they also had to influences on from the other nations they passed as they were on their way to the promised land, the children of Israel have some kind of attraction and inclination to serving other gods. And to this effect, or to this background, God was not happy with the children of Israel. I say his anger is against them. He said, Those things were made of human. Is the artist who made them? The cover made them, but they are not God. But your people have worshipped them. You have placed them before me and then put me at the background. He said, no, time has come for you to do what? Go back to Egypt. Going back to Egypt means that there will be a serious punishment for your offenses. It may not be physical returning to Egypt, but the similar experience you had in Egypt will come upon you. Of course, when they found the children of Israel found themselves in exile in the land of Babylon, it was more or less like returning back to Egypt. Because in the hands of the leaders of the, of the Babylonians and the Assyrian kingdom, they saw way. The third reason for which God chose to punish the children of Israel, we will see in Hosea chapter 8 verse 14. Just a verse after the last verse of our first reading. That's where you see it. That the children of Israel were building palaces. They were busy building palaces. And then in Judah, they were beautifying and building cities. And God said, these things you are doing without recourse to me. I will set the, the cities are ablaze. And when the fire is burning the city, the palaces that you have built will do what? All the palaces will go, will be set ablaze. Remember, God, this building of cities, building of palaces, is in line with what Amos, prophet Amos, warned the children of Israel against. Because God never wanted the type of inequality that existed among the people at that time. I told you some time ago, maybe two or three days ago, when we read from the uh, prophet Amos, how God raised Amos from where he is mending, taking care of sheep, and the three men seek him on three, and he sent him to go and do what? And he preach, prophesy, and warn the children of Israel because of inequality, injustice. And one of the things I emphasize to you that day is that God observed that the luxury of those, the few people who were having the wealth of Israel at that time, is very scandalous and very, very insultive to those who do not have. The majority of people will be suffering hunger. The poor will be dying and somebody will be busy raising up a glorified palace, decorating it with gold and silver. Whereas the poor ones are dying, just like in our world today, when you enter some villages, not even good road, not even water, not even electricity, and somebody will just come in the midst of that poverty of the village and raise a mansion, plaster the around with ties, ornaments of different kind, and then put a very heavy duty generator in his compound. In the night, he will put light. Everywhere in compound will be light, others will be in darkness. Such a thing, God will. If Jesus Christ were to be there, He will say, You should have 
taking it easy and making a very moderate house and use the money to do what? To do something that will benefit the populace, the majority of the people in your village. So you find out that this thing that the children of Israel committed, that made God choose to punish them, that made the anger of God blaze against them, is not totally not happening in our own time. Look around us now, look around the world in our own era and see whether there are still people who try to impose, make themselves king, make themselves leaders. Go around our country, Nigeria, today, you will see a whole lot of self acclaimed prophets, self acclaimed pastors, self acclaimed owners of churches, and so on and so forth. Some see it now as what business. People do not consult God again for a position they want to take. Even in politics, we keep God aside and go all by our own. We do it all. Everybody, the, 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 the reading say that we say the laborer is the one who did it, not a God. So many of us believe in Imam Mahdi. Believe in struggle. Yes, it is good to struggle. But to struggle without God is a wasted effort. According to Father J.C. Atado, he said that searching for gold without, first of all, searching for God is like fetching water in a basket. But wealth is the gift of God. So what we need to learn today is that we should not keep God totally out of place, out of our life, especially when we are making important decisions in our lives. In fact, as a matter of fact, God should be at the basement, at the foundation of every, every, every all of all our considerations and decisions in life. The children of Israel didn't do that. A lot of us today are still falling victim to that. And that is why today I pray for you that the pity, the mercy of God will locate you. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Many people today in our own world are still worshipping idol. Even those who are, are so-called Christians, a lot of us believe in idol. You see people who preach from the pulpit, just as I'm doing, going to make charm that they will use to hold their members. Who told you that you need charm to hold members? Who told you even self that the, the fact that you are in, in, in position to talk to the people means that uh, you are the one who is doing it? It is the grace of God. So what you need to do is to submit yourself totally to that grace. And God will do his own thing the way he wants it. The word we preach is not God's word. We are only instruments. So when you have, you are the one who gave yourself authority, put yourself in leadership, put yourself as a king, make yourself a prince without God, you notice that your leadership will be influenced with the human ideology, will be influenced so much with horizontal judgment. That is man-made judgment. Judgment at the level of human beings without anything divine in it, and oftentimes you will err. And oftentimes when you err, you'll try to cover it up out of arrogance and pride, and then commit more atrocities. And at the end, your, your reign becomes a mockery to itself, because not to God. So let us ask God for that grace, no matter the ambition we have in life, it is not wrong to have ambition. Ambition to be a leader, ambition to achieve one thing or the other, let us always remember that to do what? We, God must be put first. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, See thee first, the kingdom of God. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Amen and amen. 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 Let us ask God for this mercy. We need his mercy. We need the pity of God. And in the gospel today, we see that this mercy of God is everly available to those who call on him or those who seek him. If you feel remorseful for what you have done wrong 
or remorseful for your inordinate ambitions that neglected the presence of God in our lives. When we feel remorseful for them, the mercy of God locates us. But refusing to turn away from our greed, from our inordinate desire, inordinate ambitions, uncontrollable hunger for power and authority, the Bible says that the anger of God will be hot against us. And only way to go, only way to go, if the anger of God falls upon any mortal being that we are, it will come not about to be totally destroyed. So we ask God today to show us his mercy. In the gospel we saw how merciful God is when he came across a man that was brought to him deaf and deaf, dumb. And he healed him. After that, they brought him different sick people he healed. Those who are possessed, he delivered. That is how God is. Whenever we surrender and submit ourselves to his leadership, submit ourselves to his reign, and he begins to reign over us, infirmity becomes good health. Lack becomes abundance. Sickness becomes health. Possession becomes freedom. Where there is nobody, somebody will emerge. From nothing, there will be something. And so on and so forth. So let us pray this night that God may have pity on us. He looked at the people. And the crowd gathered for him to heal. The Bible said he looked at them and he had pity on them. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. Say he was moved with pity. Somebody say he was moved with pity. He was moved with pity. He was moved with pity. Somebody say, God, move with pity upon me. God, move with pity. Let your pity locate me. Let your pity locate me. Oh Lord, let your pity locate me. Oh Lord, let your pity locate me. Oh Lord, let your pity locate my business. Oh Lord, let your pity locate. Let your pity locate my family. Let your pity locate my existence as a single lady or single woman. When the pity of God locates you, marital favor will become your option, your portion, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I am praying for this compassionate Father, compassionate God, who, although very angry with the children of Israel, still gave an opportunity that if they repent, he will forgive. Let us call on him. Even when we have erred, even when we feel we have gone totally astray, let us know that the mercy of God is still available for those who turn around and return to him. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. If my people who are called by my name should turn from their evil way and return to me, I will forgive them, I will bless them, and I will restore their land. Let God restore his graces, his love, his blessings in our lives, upon your life, upon your family, by the unction of divine pity we are hearing this night. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that God bless his word in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, take this bread your people offer you. Their sins divide us, take instead one food, one family. The wine we offer soon will be Christ's blood, redemption's prize. Receive it only, Trinity. This holy sacrifice. O oh God, the angels cry out your name, be present. On all men be that peace has brought, once promised that his blessed. Almighty Father, take this bread your people offer you. Your sins divide.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. 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 May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those whose masses are on this altar. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed. To the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, those who are here and those online. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your way, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. The spirit. Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Obanyi mejoro ge bara, obanyi mejoro ge bara. Cheneke obanyi mejoro ge bara, obanyi mejoro ge bara, obanyi mejoro bara, obananyi mejoro bara. Chupa obanyi mejoro bara, obananyi mejoro bara. Obanyi mejoro ge bara. Obanyi mejoro ge bara. Obanyi mejoro ge bara. Chuku obanyi mejoro ge bara. Obananyi mejoro bara. Asai na si mejoro ge bara. Ika ipara mejoro ge bara. Oria izuru mejoro ge bara. Ina pina imere bara. Obanya mejoro ge Oria inezu mejoro ge. Ayuwa imwere mejoro ge. Opoja inekwu mejoro ge. Opagi mejoro ge. Opananyi mejoro ge bayara. Obanyi mejoro ge. Ija ejere mejoro ge. Anya imere mejoro ge. Ija ikuru mejoro ge. Eba ibara mejoro ge. Okwanyi mejoro ge. Okwanyi mejoro. Aposhona imere mejoro ge. Mada iburu mejoro ge. Otecha izoro mejoro ge. Bagara. Okwanyi mejoro ge. Ewa ichoro mejoro ge. Ewa ichoro mejoro ge. Mbada ikbarere ge mejoro ge. Choko bagara. Bagara. Obanyi mejoro ge bagara o, obanyi mejoro ge bagara. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the symbol of God's pity and mercy and compassion upon us. So we humble ourselves to ourselves that we are we have erred and ask for His mercy. Blessed are those called to share in the banquet. Of the body and blood of the only Son of God, Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Body and Blood of Christ. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. The Holy Eucharist is the center of our worship. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, O Prison of Thank You, Be Every Moment Thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, O Prison of Thank You, Be Every Moment Thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all things be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, all the time and the end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, all the time and the end. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters who are following this Mass online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. But since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Our brothers and sisters online, what you're supposed to be doing now is welcoming Jesus Christ into your heart in a prayer and the typing in the comment box, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Or you can say, Lord, come at least spiritually into my heart. It is good, it is true that you are not here physically with us to receive the communion as you have desired. In fact, a lot of us are in spiritual hunger of the communion. But I want you to know that as you are joining in the Mass, Jesus will visit you. Jesus will come into your heart spiritually. You may not have received this sacramentally, but spiritually you are always in communion. You are connected. So wherever you are now, I am connecting you to the communion we just received so that you take Jesus Christ into your heart. So type in in the comment box, Lord Jesus, come at least spiritually into my heart. And Jesus will visit you in a very mysterious way. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. This is our faith. This is our prayer. This is our belief through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor Amen. to Mary. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for your participation in this Mass. May God reward you for your sacrifice. May He pay you back for your whatever you have spent to be able to follow this Mass online today. I pray for uncommon divine reward and blessings upon you and upon your families. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, let us remember to share the Mass. If you have not shared it already, try and do that. Those who can host watch party, you do that. Let the world, let the world benefit from this Mass you have celebrated and let the glory of God be held high everywhere. So make sure you share the Mass before you log out or go to bed. 
um, those of us who are new to this platform or who joined this mass new, or you have been a member, you have been following us on, online in this midnight mass since we started, I want you to uh, remember that it is important that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Chuku Diomini Adoration TV. So if you have not subscribed, please try and do that. Do us that favor. And we are praying for you that God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who have subscribed, God will bless you. God will bless you. I saw your hands. And I know that God will surely reward you for subscribing. We need certain level of subscription in order to, 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 to move with high speed on YouTube. I want you to know that if you make it work out, you are simply a missionary by subscribing. So let somebody today be a missionary. Let somebody join me in the ministry of preaching the word and evangelizing the entire world by subscribing. Do that, and I pray that any blessing of God that follow me as a priest, as a prophet of God, as a minister of God, all through my life, we continue to follow you. We continue to you continue to have your own share. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the anointing of a priest be your portion. As you give a priest your subscription. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As you subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notification when we make posts on YouTube. May God bless you as you do that through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those who are still interested in booking mass for the month of July, the door is still wide open. Just go to our messenger, Facebook messenger. And then you type in there and send your message there. How do I book mass? I'm interested in booking mass. And then you will get a response on how to go about it. May God bless you as you do that through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once again, I wish all of you a happy Tuesday. As we proceed in this week, the blessings of God will never elude you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of your mighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it. Come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Him 291. Ave Maria, O Mother, from the children are calling on thee. Sinless and beautiful star of the sea. O oh, Mata, Mata, Amabilis, Ora pro nobis. Pray for the children who come upon thee. Ave Santissima, Ave Purissima. Sinless and beautiful star of the sea.